right there, YouTubers. Vinny's on my lap. Vinny riding like a king here. And I thought I had the audio all figured out, and you're going to notice some popping. I did my best to get it as good as I can, and I'll keep the bloopers and not suitable for work stuff out of this video. We are off on another adventure, we hope. The voice is driving. We're in her van. And we just dropped her dog off at the kennel. We are going to Door County. Yay! As always, we're hoping for good weather. I've never been, so I'm excited. This video will be mostly rambling, but then we'll do some videos with stuff we actually do. We do. Hello there, YouTubers. We are back, and we have been driving, and we are in Menominee. I can't say Menominee, Michigan without saying Menominee. Vinny, you need to settle. So in yeah. A quarter mile, turn left onto Oops. 10th Street. We're gonna do what that lady in the box says. All right, we'll be back. So we're driving through Menominee. I'm holding the mic. Hopefully I'm not making a lot of noise, but it's a pretty day. What would you say the temperature is? My vehicle says it's 74 degrees. This Mercedes says it's 74 degrees. It is what time o'clock? 11.23. Central time. Yep. When you get to Menominee, it's central time. Only about 15 miles west of what, Escanaba or something or south. I was, look at that. Holy Loom is busy. Oh my God. They're all Wisconsin plates. They're all Holy Wisconsin plates. <laughs> Excuse my French. There's oh French. Oh my God. There's got to be a hundred cars there. There's a lot of cars there. People are desperate to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> calm down. <laughs> That's as many as I've seen. I've never seen that before. Not anywhere. And uh, since we're going to talk about weed, back in Ohio, I guess it just went into effect that you can now buy recreational weed. And Ohio, they have city and local taxes. In, the, in Michigan, there's no city tax. There's no local tax. So I, so I think, right, it's just states. So I think it's states that have local taxes. They're going to be a lot quicker to welcome people opening weed shops because that's a lot of tax money. And I bet you, you give it a year in Ohio, it'll be at least like Michigan, if not more, places you could buy cannabis. Whether you agree with it or not, it's up to you. Quarter mile, turn right onto 10th Avenue. But I think that's where it's going. Colonel K's pasties, if you get to Menominee, actually they have pretty good pasties. So I would recommend those. I apologize about the weed conversation. I'm guessing there are people that don't like this fact, but you know, half the states in this country, now you can legally buy weed. And also I'm getting ready to tell you that I did something incredibly stupid. And we're going to deal with that in this video. We're going over the Menominee River, and there's a campground right on this river that I've seen so many times right from the bridge. I've wondered about that place. It's probably loud because there's a lot of people go across this bridge, and it doesn't look as full as we've seen it in the past. Oh, it doesn't. It is Friday. I really, really, really hate when I do something stupid, and this is about the stupidest thing I've done in a very long time. Welcome to Wisconsin, though. I'll tell you in a second. After you look at this cool building, I just really like this Dunlap Square building. It's for lease. 1902. I should buy that. Ha! It's Trump like sign on the road. <laughs> it's it's like the uh, flat iron building of Wisconsin. <laughs> All right, that's enough. You went across the bridge. You Ooh, are now in Wisconsin. That, that's a good price for diesel. Three thirty-five. Jeez, yeah. Hey there, YouTubers. Uh, you watch a channel with a guy who's an idiot. I'm just an idiot. Our drive is going to take us two hours longer now. We are in Marinette. Actually, we're back in Menominee. We crossed the bridge. We stopped. I realized I forgot Vinny's insulin. The one thing that I can't forget. I mean, insulin and my wallet. Everything else is doable. But I forgot his insulin. I got his needles. But so now we have to spend two hours driving back. There's not going to be any talking, at least until we get back here, because the voice is sweet and nice and not mad at me, but I'm pretty upset at myself. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do a ramble at some point if I get happy again. 
I figured I'd turn this on as we go past the weed store that we saw un crazy amounts of Wisconsinites in the UP buying their weed. Stocking for the weekend. The big weekend, apparently. It is bedlam. Look at this. Are they giving it away today? Is it's it free? free? It's free today. It's it free day. That's crazy. They need Look at how busy. On walkie -talkies. Oh my god. All Wisconsin. Like it's all Wisconsin. So whether you're the people out there that I don't like all this weed stuff, well, states that don't have it, when they can get to states that do, it sure seems to be a big seller. Wow. All right, we are almost to Menominee. I got Vinny's insulin. All right, again, hope the microphone sounds good and hope I don't have to say that anymore. I'm using the wired microphone, and if she has anything to say, I'll hold it towards her. But for now, we're done. She's a wonderful human being who did not get mad at me for being a bonehead. I appreciate that. Um, Vinny, you're crying, buddy, because the sun was beating on him. We are now about 45 miles from Green Bay, and we got about as f we'd be there. If I wasn't an idiot, we'd be there now. But I'm cruising along, got some gas. That was a lot of fun. Fighting traffic. Oh, we got fuel because we got diesel. Yeah. But maybe there'll be something I want to ramble about in a bit. But I can't think of nothing right now. Can you voice? Nope. Nope. She's got nothing. I have this thing where I say, go back to Wisconsin. I say it as a joke just because there's so many Wisconsin plates you see camping in the UP. And I also want to complain about this, Mike. I promised you I wouldn't do it. I'm trying to edit it in the best way I can. Um, sometimes it pops, sometimes it doesn't. I still don't understand why. I did a couple videos that it worked perfect in, and now I'm realizing that it's messing up again. I think Wisconsin seems to have very nice state parks and different places to camp. I know the UP is wonderful. I do understand that probably for a couple generations, yeah, I guess you gotta go back a ways now before the bridge, that there were more people vacationing from Wisconsin into the UP than from the lower peninsula because you had to take a ferry. So it'd just be a whole big thing. Again, seriously, no insult to anybody from Wisconsin. I know people from Wisconsin, they're good people. But if you're from Wisconsin and have any idea of why so many people go to the UP to go camping, please say something down in the comments. I would love to know why. Because I've camped in Wisconsin. There's beautiful places. There's a lot of terrible popping and cracking, so we'll just edit over it and let the voice tell you her idea of why. Because I think there's a lot less in Wisconsin what you think. Oh! Yes. Um, Wisconsin is mostly farms. That is true. I have driven across, and it's pretty flat land. It gets, it gets a little North Dakota-ish. And what is the Upper Peninsula full of? Trees. Lakes. No. Camp Youpers. Campgrounds. Campgrounds. You can't throw a one-eared diabetic cat without hitting a campground. Yeah. So, and we have a tremendous amount of forest campgrounds. And it's surprising the amount of people that really like those kinds of campgrounds. True. And they're highly accessible, they're cheap, and they're beautiful. So, why wouldn't they come here? So basically what you're doing is saying me as a non-youper and you as a youper are saying the exact same thing. The UP's friggin' awesome. Well, sure. Sure. All right, we've gone a little long. I'm going to... You don't think we've gone long? She might have more to say. No, I, I just think they come here because it's beautiful and because it's accessible to them. Because you, you face it, you know, face that, uh, the eastern... Um, part of Wisconsin, in a couple hours, they can be in the UP enjoying... That is true. Enjoying our parks, enjoying our campgrounds, yes. She is right. I know. She knew she was right. A little arrogant about it, if you don't ask me. All right, I just tried to listen to a very long ramble we both did that I thought was great, and I heard some crackling. Please cross your fingers that it's not bad. If it is bad and this is good, all you're gonna hear is we did a really cool thing that you didn't get to hear because I promised you no more crap audio. Now I'm gonna tell it to stop doing what it's doing. Getting closer, it's not fancy beautiful, it's farmland, but hopefully the Door Peninsula gets as beautiful as I've heard. You ready, voice? Sure. She's 
that stuff. I got stuff to say, and you're all gonna hear about it. <laughs> That's just a joke. No, I was thinking more about um, our previous conversation about why people from Wisconsin come to the UP, and I, I was thinking of a couple other things. And the first thing is, maybe because their parents took them there when they were kids, right. and they have fond memories about it, and they like it. And then the other thing I was thinking was, maybe they've exhausted all of the opportunities for camping and they just decide, hey, we're gonna go check out the UP because there's a lot in the UP to, to camp and a lot of things to see. We have a lot of waterfalls. Um, you know, we have a bunch of different sites and perhaps they, they're just not available to them in, in Wisconsin. And I think she's right. Yep. This is H57 we're on. I will give you the same advice that I give you when you go to the UP. There's impatient people. Be careful. We've had a lot of people doing dumb things. I haven't seen anything beautiful yet. I mean, this is nice. As soon as I see beautiful, I'm going to hit that record button. That's it for now. All right, we're in Sturgeon Bay, which I've heard of. Yes, that is cool voice, an old school motel. I like the old school stuff. You can have America in. I'll take that little place any day of the week. I'm, I'm excited to see what the Door County is. I will be nice in my reviews. I don't know if it's going to stack up to the UP, but I will give it its due, due rewards. So this is Sturgeon Bay still. Lines for some activity kind of stuff to do. Um, I'm just not seeing what I half expected yet. I thought we were going to see more water around us, but we got further to go. I know there's an island at the end. Oh, there is water right there. Good job, voice. There's an island at the end that we talked about taking uh, a ferry boat over. I don't think we're going to do the, this trip, but maybe in the future if we like it. All right, YouTubers, I'm seeing water, very pretty water. Wow, that gives you more of an ocean feel than a lake feel. Wow, it really kind of reminds me of the Washington coast. But you can't see any of it. That's why you got to go to these places. You watch people's YouTube videos. Mine are too long. Voice and I were talking about this. Maybe it's a topic for a ramble. Maybe I should just give you little snippets to make you want to go to a place instead of trying to show you everything. Maybe I got to work on that. I don't know why, but I tried to overdub it exactly. But anyways, come up to the Door Peninsula yourself. She fought you on that, didn't she? She doesn't turn on a dime, you know? She turns better than Eddie, usually. Well, definitely you got a tighter turning circle. I'm going to take all that out, but we were just reliving young toddlers swearing off the internet, and it is as good as any cat video. <laughs> Listen to young kids swear. I know it's terrible. I feel like a bad... But no, I don't. I think it's funny. I don't have to be politically correct all the time. I think it's funny. GrandmaTommy's.com, country I store. I Grandma Tommy's. I think I bought something. Do you? Yeah. Never heard of Grandma Tommy. I had a Grandpa Tommy, not a Grandma Tommy. We'll see what we see. So far, mostly pretty farmland. We got 20 miles to go approximately. We're going to Bailey's Harbor, right? Yeah. All right, I'll show you more of that when we get there. When you do the van life thing, there's lots of driving. So here's more sped up driving. The voice did a wonderful job. We almost missed this turn. Oh, yay, loose gravel. Oh. No. Two miles of this. All right, I'm going to turn this off. The voice just said, who says you got to go to the UP for bad roads? This is bad. We're turning here. We'll show you what we show you when we show you, and you'll like it. You'll like it. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. Our blood sugar is dangerously low. Go. Most of what farms. we've seen is our farms and some, some forests in here, some woods. It's very different than the UP. Oh, okay. So this isn't like national public. forest, right? Right. No. No. Or state forest, or nothing like that. Right. And a lot of the UP is, you know. Yeah. Forest land. A lot of the UP is state and national yes. forest land. Yes. Agreed. She agrees. I agree. you got anything else? No. In a few minutes, we're gonna get closer to the water, and then I'll show you that. Look at that. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty it's farm. Field could be Ohio. That's true, it could. There's a lot of yellow arrows. 
Don't make me nervous, voice. Am I making you nervous? Hurt. Hold on, Bertha. Who's Bertha? I don't know. I don't remember what you named your van. Oh, Helga. Helga. No, Hilda. Hilda. <laughs> Helga, Bertha. Oh, how could you call it's a supper club. Man, Wisconsin a... is famous for supper clubs. We've seen a few already. And you know what You know what they have at, um, at supper clubs? Shows. No. They have a particular drink in Wisconsin that's very popular at supper clubs. Do you know what it is? Highball. No. Nope. Then I guessed highball because old people always say a highball. I don't even know what a highball is, but tell us. Old fashioned. What's in an old fashioned? Uh, usually brandy or whiskey, and I think there's um, syrup. Grenadine? Simple syrup. No, um, I used to be a bartender. So she did used to be a bartender. Uh, is it vermouth? Or am I mistaking a, a no, a Manhattan has vermouth. One word. Oh, uh, oh shoot, it's got like a squirt of like 7-Up or Seltzer? spray. Seltzer? Uh, I can't, I, I, I will find that out for you. We're going to put it right here. What you're not hearing is us still trying to figure it out. That's right. Bitter. Pinch of raw sugar, cherry to garnish. Okay, that's what it is. Bitters. It's bitters. bitters. The map on the phone tells me we're going to see some water here soon. Well, maybe. We'll see. Maybe. Looks like it's all trees. You can see it through the trees. Oh, oh it's right there. Right there. That's pretty. Ah, sorry, you can't see it. Sometimes I do think about pointing the GoPro out the side window for you. Is that the Denmark flag? You know the Denmark flag is the oldest flag in the world? Huh. A lot of people don't know that. I'm not familiar with a lot of flags. Neither am I. I saw it somewhere recently. There was a lot of farmland on this drive, but luckily for you, I cut most of it out. Oh, now we're in Bailey's Harbor. We are in Bailey's Harbor. We have about two miles left to go to get to our campground or a turn for our campground or wherever it is we're going. This is, um, I'll give you a campground tour, but I'm gonna tell you right now at the end of this video, it was difficult for them to find a place to go camping and this is really not where we would pick from what we understand. Is it a KOA? No. It's a privately owned campground. It's a privately owned campground. I don't know anything oh, about it. That is pretty. All right. All right, I see you, Wisconsin. I see you. Some call it Door County, some call it the Door Peninsula. No matter which you call it, it's very expensive and it's very touristy. But that doesn't mean it's not nice. They're very hungry. We are. Touristy means nice landscapes, food, and tchotchkes. You know what? Getting into town is walkable because it's only a mile from the campground. The campground they found is not a very nice and convenient location. There's a supper club. Yeah. You go there and you can get your whatchamacallit. gonna be wineries. You know what the first thing is I'm doing when we get there? Going. No. Put shorts on. Put yeah. Ice cream. I like ice cream. Frozen custard. I like frozen custard. Yeah. It's eggs. Fish market. I lived grill. inside. I lived just outside of St. Louis. Big custard. Big frozen custard place. I've been pretty lucky. I've lived in and traveled to a lot of places. Turn left. DCBC Eats. Door County Brewing Company Eats. Ooh. Lakeshore Adventures. There's the harbor. This is our left. Cornerstone Pub. Is that it? That, no, that's not. We it. saw that one. Maybe it is that. Bailey's Harbor Corner. Yep, that was it. That's it? That's it. Okay. That's walkable. Yeah, it's Corner. point eight. Yeah. We can walk there. We can walk there easy. Normally we do cooking, but there's going to be some going out to eat, yeah. which we're glad to do. The upcoming videos are going to be different than our normal. There's going to be a lot of touristy kind of stuff and going out to eat. We're going to break some vegan rules, but we're going to have a great time. I hope you'll check out those videos. This is pretty. If you can see, hopefully the windshield in front of the GoPro doesn't look like the windshield in front of my head. 
Like I said, this is my first time to the Door Peninsula, and we're going to be different than normal. Normally, we're lakes and woods and kind of stuff, but this is more checking out people kind of touristy stuff. We're turning two more roads. Not this one, not the next one, then the next one. The GoPro died. This is the campground. I'll do a tour of it in another video. We learned the first night that getting restaurants can be tough, so we went to this cool food truck. They were almost closing, so running out of stuff, but we got fries, onion rings, cheese curds. The Voice got the last vegan dog. I got a Chicago dog, and the others got other things, and we had a great and wonderful day.